School corporations are working to keep everyone safe while still delivering the best education they can. The Vigo County School Board met tonight. News 10 Sarah Lehman was there. She's live now in our newsroom. In our top story tonight, she has more from that meeting that may affect your kids. Yeah, Patrice Rondrell, tonight's school board meeting, they announced a lot of things to help during the COVID-19 pandemic. Plus, they talked about moves they're taking for a more long-term impact. The View County School Corporation has been in session for almost a week now. Monday night, the board approved a lot of things to help during the COVID-19 pandemic. One of those is a COVID-19 dashboard. Every Wednesday, the district will share updated COVID-19 information with the public on the dashboard. They say it's just another step to be transparent. We're proud of our uh, communication with regards to COVID. The board also approved a resolution in case of school right. shutdown to COVID-19. It allows employees to continue to get normal pay even during a shutdown. If we get caught in a situation, we will still be there for you as you are for our children right now. Again, that is only if there is a shutdown. Now, the board also approved a part of the CARES Act grant to purchase more than 500 Chromebooks. These Chromebooks will be given to second graders at high poverty schools. That way, they will still have the opportunity to connect with teachers and class content. This will just help put a device in everyone's hand. Last, Superintendent Hayworth announced a new hire to the district. This is for the Director of Civility, Diversity and International Exchange. It's a new title that was embedded in the district's strategic plan more than a year ago. Monday night, Superintendent Hayworth announced Matthew McClendon has been hired for the position. McClendon says he's excited to get started. I want to be able to bridge the gap with uh, diversity and inclusion uh, and give voice to a uh, population or populations that may feel like they don't have a voice. He says he wants to get started as soon as possible. Now we have more details about all of these topics over on our website. That's WTHITV.com. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman. News 10, back to you.